Hello, people of the internet. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, a happy Friday to you all. Hopefully, your weeks are wrapping up nicely. Or if you're watching this at any other point in the week, hopefully having a great day nonetheless. The K-pop industry and South Korea as a whole had their choose up holidays to start the week. I also took the opportunity to have a few days off. But the industry has resumed and we have brand new music to check out. This one, I believe, dropped yesterday. Yes, this dropped yesterday. We're getting around to it today. But this is one that's been in the pipelines for a little while now and has been well, both teased and rumored for a hot minute. But Mr. Yeonjun has dropped a little solo a number one time. The name of... It's gum spelled with two Gs, which makes the pronunciation a little bit awkward. I don't actually know how it's supposed to be pronounced. Having said that, I remember we checked out Yeonjun's OST. I think it was called Boyfriend, right? Whenever that dropped, we checked it out on OST Saturday. And right around that time was when I think it had been rumored that he was going to be dropping a little solo number one time. Lo and behold, we got a little solo number from Mr. Yeonjun one time. And um, I genuinely have no idea what to expect. Like, is it going to be something hard hitting? Is it going to be something a little bit smooth? Is it going to be something a little bit wacky and experimental? I like to think I know a decent bit about TXT and their musical styles, but in reality, I really don't know all that much about each individual member's musical tastes and preferences, so this is going to be a great learning experience for me. And hopefully, I can get some fun out of listening to the music as well. So, let's find out together, shall we? Here we go! Righty. Oh, um, options are oh, good. Let's just, honestly, let's just full send it. It's, uh, I feel like I don't really have anything else to say about it. I'm just ready to go. Slides in the rain is a choice, my guy. Strong statement. I beg your pardon? Okay, so this is very different. He's definitely not holding back on the bottom end of the song, is he? I was honestly a left hand piano driven drop like that is a crazy choice. And the fact that the, each verse kind of starts off with something that really isn't akin to anything that Yeonjun has done before, that is how you make an impact to start. That little two note rhythm back and forth. It's very John Williams, but the sensation is very different, isn't it? Oh, that is a short and quick song, isn't it? 
and big hit label stinger, of course. Um, what just happened? Hey, you know how I was saying, like, I don't know what we're going to get, if it's going to be something smooth and pretty, if it's going to be something high energy, if it's going to be something wacky and experimental. Or was that, was that on Yonjun or did I say that on the P1 Harmony video? Either way, when I approach a project not knowing anything, like I didn't see concept pictures for this, I didn't see teasers, I didn't listen to any album spoilers, anything like that, I went into this completely blind. So I have, I had no idea what to expect. I would have never guessed what Gum ended up being. Because that is wild. That is an experience. But what this also is, is a statement piece. This is something that is so far outside of the box to what I could have imagined anything coming out of the TXT camp. And I know, you know, this is Yeonjun Solo and this is very much his kind of, I don't know if he had like writing credits on this or what, but this is his project, right? And if this is, you know, the start of us getting individual like solo projects from the TXT members or the 2x2 two two members, this starting off with something that is so outlandishly wacky like this, that is how you really like make yourself known. This is how to really kind of get the ball rolling so to speak because even if you don't like it you're gonna remember this because it's so outlandishly wacky that always lead to some you know picking up an extra few little fans here and there because of the fact that it's just like what just happened and where else can i get it get it here no only here exclusively at the store of yonjun essentially that's crazy I'm still a little bit overwhelmed by how this song just really opens. But honestly, let's send the opening again. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, what? And here's the thing. I think this beat goes hard. Like, I love how unashamedly punchy this beat is. It's the fact that, you know, I'm expecting Yeonjun vocals to come in. I'm not expecting what is kind of like... You know how sometimes in K-pop we've recently gotten sped up version of certain title tracks from certain groups? And usually when the song's sped up, it's not only actually sped up, but it's also pitched up as well. I'm not expecting pitched up Yeonjun vocals to come in on this beat here. When it comes in, yes, I'm absolutely gobsmacked by it, just dumbfounded, because it's not what I'm expecting. Especially considering I know what Yeonjun's natural voice sounds like. That is the last thing I expect to come out of a Yeonjun track. And then while you're kind of relishing in the shock that is the opening verse of the song, you're left with that beat that rattles your brain for days. Watch it. Because now we're getting that natural vocal coming in. It's that pro slow evolution from just that really pitched up digital vocal into that combination of a slightly lower pitched up vocal with the natural rap tone. And now we've got that natural rap tone. The song is constantly evolving on top of just that ridiculously hard hitting beat, which if I had a car with a proper stereo system in it, I would love to plug this into the car, crank the bass up, crank the volume up, and just feel it. You know what I mean? If you've got a friend or if you have a car that's like, I would be kind of classified as like a beater car, so to speak. Uh, old, rusted, some loose uh, interior panels here and there. Maybe you've got like a duct tape window or something. You know, that kind of car. Those cars, you plug the song into it, crank up the bass as far as it can go, and you play it. Oh, you will be able to physically feel some interior panels rattling around. That's how punchy that bass part is. This is taking me straight back into my EDM phase, and I am living for it. Started from 
내 방구석 모두 원해 내 향기 더해 언제나 내 곁에 머지 I'ma got you lit up so I'm always on fire Having said that though, you do get little You do get little moments where it does get a little bit melodic. You can get a little bit of a breather in when you want to or when you need to, right? But like that little left hand piano part to cue in the chorus drop is a very cool artistic choice it's those two notes being used i'm pretty sure it's an e and an f i'm pretty sure it's an e and an f just going back and forth coincidentally the exact same notes that were used in the john jaws theme by mr john williams the great john williams and the jaws theme same notes e f e f back and forth I think with Yeonjun's gum, it goes F and E. But exact same notes. It's the pacing of it's different. The attack is different. The application is different. The piano part in Yeonjun's gum brings the coolest sensation to me. And maybe it is my kind of classical music background coming into play here. Like, you know, I was never trained in it, but I grew up playing in orchestra. So whenever we get kind of cool traditional instruments like this, I find a lot of fun in it. But this is an application that I was not, again, I was not expecting that natural piano sound to come in like this. And I really like it. It's such a creative but different way of doing it. Dare I say, it kind of reminds me of P1 Harmony a little bit. Like, I can... this It's like, um... Oh, you know what song it is? It's Heartbeat Drum by P1 Harmony off of their... Whatever album the song Jump was from, the title track Jump. There's a B-side on it called Heartbeat Drum. That's very... Like, in terms of that bounce and the speed, very similar to Yeonjun's Gum. And that's what's been reminding me of. Which makes sense because Heartbeat Drum is one of my favorite P1 Harmony B sides that's dropped. Hunjun's Gum takes very similar cues to that and explains why I'm really enjoying that hard hitting just bounce in the background. Because. And I'm weird. Like, I know I said I was a little bit thrown off by the super high-pitched Yeonjun vocal to start these verses. But the more I listen to it, the more I understand the weird quirkiness of it. And it's like, now that, you know, we've listened through this a couple, uh, this will be, you know, technically the second time, but I'm pausing and repeating certain parts. I'm kind of getting why they've done it. And now that I've heard it a couple times, I can't imagine this song without it now. That's crazy. That's a really fast turnaround for me. My goodness. I think the safe um, thing for me to say is I'm overwhelmed, mainly because I genuinely don't have words to truly articulate what my true feelings are about this song, because I am all over the place with this. One thing is for sure, though, this has definitely left an impact on me. Like, I won't be forgetting this song anytime soon, whether it's for good or for bad reason, I will not forget this song for a long time. I am... Um, very curious though, does this come with B-sides? Yeonjun. If I can spell it right, good god, okay. No, it's just a one-track title. Okay, that's fine. I was kind of hoping we would get an instrumental track for this, but that's a-okay. I'm, I'm sure someone on YouTube will be able to make one. Um, yeah, I. this is a song I will not be forgetting for a long time. And I reckon this will be a really quick grower for me. It's like, right now... I'm I'm definitely more on the liking side of the fence, but I am still a little bit on the fence about this song. But I reckon if I listen through it a couple more times, especially during the weekend, I reckon I might really like this. Because it has everything that I should like about it. It's got some weird wacky elements. I think the composition's really cool. That hard-hitting bass takes me back to my EDM phase. 
There's some really clever, like, instrumental parts in here as well. I should like it, in theory. I'm just not 100% sold on it yet. But, uh, uh, but I'm making my way towards there. Cool stuff. But this is where I'm going to wrap it up for today. Thank you all for watching along with me. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. One last request from me today. Let us work together as a community to bring a little bit of extra happiness back into the world. Whether it be you know, checking in with your friends and family, holding the door open for somebody, or even picking up a piece of trash off the street. Just one small act of kindness that may brighten up someone else's day to day. And know that wherever you are in the world, should you ever be going through a tough time in your life, for whatever reason it may be. Even though I'm just some guy on the internet who waffles about music in his free time, know that I will always be a friend, ally, and shoulder to lean on whenever you need me. So take care of yourselves, take care of each other, spread the love, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.